Well, welcome to my first tutorial about the effect orbing of the TV show Charm. The effect that we are going to replicate is going to be this. So, we're going to go to this new composition. They already have the two things that we need to start. First of all, we're going to need this shot where we're going to have just the object that we're going to disappear and the second necessary stuff is going to be the clean shot but I add a practical eye, a blue with the RGB light it's not necessary, we can do this in post-production but I think it gives more realistic to the effect where basically I just turn on the light and then I dim it out this is the two things that you need the object and then the same as scene try to use a tripod and without the object first of all what we're gonna do to make the object disappear we're, not, we're gonna play with the opacity of the clean plate so we're gonna type T to open the opacity control we're gonna do two keyframes Let's say one here and one around here the clean plate to take over the first one and to make it disappear we need to start zero opacity and then gradually it's going to grow until 100 to make it smoother the change we're going to select both these both keyframes we're going to right click keyframe assistant and select easy easy so so far we have this Now, we need to create a shape around the object and to do that, the best way that I have found is to use Roto Brush. In order to use Roto Brush, you need to double click on your footage. In this case, it's gonna be this. And we're gonna click on Roto Brush and I'm just gonna paint around the inside of the area with a left click. We're gonna zoom in. To have a better view. As you can see, it has been select part that is part of the wall, so we don't need to select this. So I'm gonna type Alt, and you're gonna see that icon in the center is gonna change to a minus. So while I'm holding Alt, now I'm going to select the areas that I don't want to be selected. Okay, so I'm just going to have to keep doing this in the areas that I don't need the selection for the roto brush. Yeah, that looks fine. I'm going to correct this part too. So I'm going to select this area. Uh, no, I need to eliminate some part is part of the desk let's say like this I'm gonna correct this and there we have I think it's it's okay with this shape is good enough now what I'm gonna do is auto trace this information to save a mask because right now it's just effect roto brush and every time I use this roto brush it's gonna try to recalculate it's gonna take a lot of time so now with the same layer selected I'm gonna go to layer auto trace I'm gonna select the current frame and, and I'm just gonna click OK since I already create the auto trace I can unselect the roto brush effect I don't need it anymore I'm gonna go back to my composition and I'm gonna click M to see the mass that has been created which is this now if you can see it has been created two masks which is okay but in order to keep the shape I need to understand which is which the first one should be an add and the second one which is a yellow should be a subtract 
So with that information, I have actually the object selected. Now, I don't need this mask applied to the footage. I just use it to save the information. I'm gonna move this mask. I'm gonna create a new layer because we need to create a effect bluish around the object. So we're gonna create a blue layer and I'm gonna transfer this mask to that layer. So I'm gonna select bow with chief, Ctrl C. I'm gonna select the layer blue, the solid blue, and I'm gonna paste with Ctrl V. There I have the shape information with the mask applied to a new layer. I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna name this like mask and texture because we're gonna apply also some texture using fractal noise effect. Now the mask in the footage, I don't need it there. So I'm just, I can just click the mode known. So it's not gonna be applied any of them. Now in this mask, I also like always at the mask feather. In both, I'm gonna just a little bit, let's say just 10 pixels good enough and this mask since it's a hard blue over the object I need it to be blended with that real object so I'm just gonna use the blending mode at so so far we have this now we don't need this layer to be visible all the time obviously we just need to start appearing when the effect start to take action and also disappearing when the effect is done. So we're gonna play with the transparency. We're gonna click T, which is opacity actually. And we're gonna create four keyframes. So one here, one here. We're gonna adjust the position later and one to disappear. Okay. The first keyframe should be at zero because we don't we don't want them to be visible. Then it's gonna reach a maximum visibility at 100. It's gonna keep that visibility and then it's gonna start to fading out. So the last keyframe should have the value of zero. Now. To make a little smoother or organic, we can select this four keyframe, right click on it, keyframe assistant and select easy easy. We start having something like this. Maybe it's lasting longer than it's supposed to, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna select the four of them holding Alt. I'm gonna start moving and stretching in a little bit. So I think like this is okay. So we're gonna start like this, reaching a maximum point and then fading out. Now, to add more, more organic look into this, we don't want a flat blue solid color all over the object. We're gonna add some fractal noise here in the same mass and texture layer so we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna add the fractal noise this one well since the fractal no noise take over the color of the layer we're just gonna modify the blending mode from normal to add and since this layer doesn't have any animation it's just playing with a transparency or, or opacity we're gonna type an expression in the evolution option so we're gonna alt click on the clock of evolution we're gonna press alt and hold it and then press press evolution it gives us the option to type an expression in this case we're gonna use time it's gonna be equal to time times 1000 
Now the fractal noise is going to have an evolution, a movement. If we think it's too much or it's too fast, I'm going to try to see in real time, but I think it's pretty good, 1000. So I'm just going to leave it there. So far we already have this part of the effect. Now we just need to work in the particles. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to use the plugin from BCC, Particle Illusion. So I'm going to create a new solid. It has to be preferring black because I would like to use the blending mode add or screen. So in that case, if this layer is holding the particles, the solid background black is not going to add information and it will be added just the particles. I'm going to type particle illusion from BCC. I'm just going to drop it, the layer. I'm going to rename it so we know what we're doing. And I'm going to click on launch particle illusion. The software or the plugin comes with a lot of libraries that we can use and even modify because it has like a node system here. So I already have modified one and I just recorded here. This is a project that I worked before. I probably I need to do a different tutorial just to explain how you can do this, but it's very intuitive in this area. I'm just going to select this particle effect and I'm going to click in the center of this screen. I'm going to click play just to see if it's working. So you're slow, but it's working. I'm going to stop it and I'm just going to close this window. It's going to ask me to save the changes. So I'm going to click save. Well, here's in Spanish, but you will see save here. And even though I don't assign a name, it will be automatically the information safe to the layer. So if I click the preview play here, I'm going to be able exactly to see what I was watching in the particle illusion window. Now, we don't need the particles applying the whole area. We just need to be applied in the object area. Here's there's an option called particle masking where you can use the mask information for particle creation, which is exactly what we want. And then in mask layer, we're gonna select the shape or the mask that we want to, is gonna help us to create the particles. So in this case, we already have that information in this layer. So I'm just gonna select mask and texture here. And I'm gonna select the source mask. So as we can see, now the particles are only being created in the area of the mask. Now, like I told you before, this black background is covering everything. So we just need to change the blending mode to add. And there it is. Now the particles are being created just in the object and with the shape of the object. As we can see, the duration of the particles is lasting a little less than the other effects, so we just need to move the keyframe of the blue. We can select the, the blue layer, we can select the layer, press U to watch all the keyframe that we have draw. And in this case, we're just gonna play with opacity, which is this one. I will say that the maximum point should be here of the particles and then it start to disappear. Actually, it's completely gone here. I'm just gonna maybe stretch all of them again, selecting the four, press Alt and start moving it until here. So let's see what we have. The particles start. Start the light, 
reaching the maximum and then start disappearing. I think it's pretty good there. The particles looks a little not so blend with the whole background and other effects. So a good thing to help them to blend better is at a glow. Even though particle illusion has their own glow system, which is this one, it takes longer and it's I think heavy for the simulation. So what I prefer to use is effect called deep glow. this one you can see the difference it helps a lot to blend so now we have this effect the particles itself also it looks like we should play a little bit with the transparency for example we don't need to to then appear so slowly one by one even though it's happened fast just to add that extra detail I'm just gonna play with the transparency so I'm gonna click in the layer of particle illusion the transparency option and I'm gonna add an opacity for the beginning I mean I want to control the, the, the appearance so I'm just gonna play with zero it's gonna reach the 100% and reach the maximum and when it's almost gone I don't want to disappear also so slowly so I'm just gonna keep the 100% visibility until here and then I'm gonna bring it to zero too and probably I'm gonna play with the position of these keyframes again I like I would like to select the four of them right click easy easy so it will be something like this. And I think we're pretty good so far. Let's take a look at the preview. And there we go. You just may or the object as the TV show charm. I'm gonna share after the video the sound effect because that complete the whole thing I'm just gonna add it so you can download the effect and you can use it in your own projects or videos so I hope you like the video please subscribe to my channel and just let in the comments what you think and if you want another effect more likely from the TV show charm which is the most that I have trying to reply over the time and I will make a new tutorial have a good weekend and don't forget to follow your dreams Bye-bye.